Welcome back to the channel, Ash here. Today we're talking about how not to get a job in 2023. And we're back. Disclaimer, I've been watching a lot of Alex Hormozzi lately and I took this idea from his How to Stay Poor video that he did. And the whole idea is inversion thinking. Think about what not to do in order to identify what you should do to get the desired outcome. So let's get straight into this. Number one is don't apply for any jobs. Just don't apply. That is one way not to get a job this year. Just go about your business. Don't worry about applying for a job. Don't worry about looking on job boards. Don't worry about any of that. Just don't apply for any jobs. Number two is don't update your CV. If you don't have an updated CV, you're probably gonna struggle to get a job. If a recruiter calls you or you see a job online that you want to apply to and you don't have your CV updated, extra hurdle to jump, isn't it? Number three, be invisible online. No LinkedIn, no Twitter, no Instagram. Recruiters are looking at all kinds of social media these days. So if you don't wanna get a job, don't be on social media. Number four is don't promote your achievements online. A lot of people go about their business just expecting that people should know what they're doing or expect we live in a just world where everything is fair. If you don't market yourself, if you don't promote yourself, you won't get a job. So next time you have an achievement at work, don't mention it. Number five is don't practice your interviews, whether that's face-to-face -face or over video. Don't worry about practicing. Don't worry about practicing questions. Don't worry about your setup for a video interview. Don't worry about researching interviewers. Don't worry about any of it. Don't practice anything. Number six is don't complete any online tasks or assessments. If a company asks you to complete a test, don't do it. Then you definitely won't get the job. The amount of times we've asked people to complete a test or a task and they've just not done it. None of them ever got the job. Number seven, and this is taken straight out of Alex Hormozzi's video, is make yourself replaceable. Don't worry about learning new skills. Don't worry about standing out in the crowd. Just carry on what you're doing. Don't worry about improving your skills and learning new things and taking courses and going to events and conferences. Don't do any of it. Number eight is don't think about what you're looking for. Just ignore it. Don't have an idea of the type of job, company, salary, environment, culture. Don't think about any of it because when the right place does come knocking, you won't know. So you won't get the job. Number nine is don't have a solid work from home setup. A lot of companies are doing the hybrid model or completely remote. So don't worry about having a desk, a monitor, an office desk chair. Don't worry about any of it. Just expect to be in the office every single day. Number 10 is don't network with people in your space or the space you're looking to get into. Because if you don't know anyone in the right places, then you probably will find it hard to get a job there. Mm -hmm. Number 11, don't respond to recruiter calls. Just ignore them. Don't want to hear it. You're not looking for a job. Don't want a job. Ignore their calls. Number 12, don't tailor your CV for all of your job applications. Just use the same CV, same cover letter. Even if you specified the company and the role title in the cover letter, just use the same one. And then when you use it for another company, you won't get the job. True story. Number 13, don't research the company or the interviewers when you go for an interview. Just wing it and hope you have something in common and it just happens to come up. Don't research them, don't research the company, don't have any smart questions to ask, just turn up and hope it goes well. Number 14, and this is very relevant to the economy we find ourselves in at the moment, expect to be as in demand as you were last year. If you're expecting to be as in high demand as you were last year, then you're probably gonna be in for a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, sure, there's a lot of industries that are still growing. There's a lot of companies that are still hiring, but definitely not on the same scale we saw in 2022, and layoffs are still happening. Number 15, expect a huge salary increase when you move from job to job this year. Last year, we were seeing crazy increases, 20, 30, sometimes 40K from moving from one job to another at a similar level. This year, we're probably not gonna see as much of that. Definitely a little bit, but definitely not as much. So don't expect to have the same outcomes as last year. And if you do, you'll be unpleasantly surprised and you probably won't get a job because your expectations are gonna be up here and what's actually gonna happen is down here. Number 16, when you get rejected from a job, don't wanna get another one, just stop. Get rejected from an interview and just stop. Stop trying. Then you definitely 
won't get a job this year. Try once and that's it. If it doesn't happen the first time, it wasn't meant to be. Just leave it. And number 17 is watch loads of YouTube videos about how to get a job and then just keep watching them and then watch another one and then watch another one and then don't put any of it into practice. Just keep watching YouTube and then Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, check all of them. Don't forget TikTok. And on that note, get off YouTube, but first like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I think we're done out here. Peace.